video. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 3rd, 2020. Show me what Leo needs to know. Thank you. I hope everyone's doing great today. And your first card. Ace of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you, um, you've changed your mind about something after learning the truth about something. Um, either changed your mind or changed your heart. You could also not be saying something about something, um, keeping, keeping things to yourself, keeping your feelings to yourself, thinking about something, but definitely changing your mind or changing your heart about something in the how. Page of Wands in the reverse. This is someone who is, um, I think you're not interested in pursuing someone. This is someone who's trying to get a job or someone who's trying to um, attract someone. I feel like you've changed your mind about someone. You might have been interested, they might be very good looking. Um, you might not know them very well. Something, um, something about them just completely turned you off. They could be someone who, well, it just, they might be like a serial dater or something like that. I definitely feel like this is a dating card. You don't want to go out with them again. <clears throat> Let's see what the why is. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this person makes you feel uneasy. They're definitely interested. This is about attraction. Um, maybe you were before, but it really looks like you're like, no thanks, you're not interested. They, they actually make you, um, they might make you upset or they might make you confused or maybe you don't hear from them, like when they say they're gonna message you or something like that, this can be waiting for a message. Maybe that's what it is, you're waiting for to hear back from this person and you're not hearing anything, so you're changing your mind about this person. How you're going to feel. <laughs> Making a decision. Judgment in the upright. Making a decision. Because of this off vibe you get from them, you could have something going on that's huge in your life anyway. You could be um, starting at something really big, something that takes a lot of your time. This could even be someone applying for a position and you're not taking them on. I feel like down here you have some kind of huge idea, some kind of calling even, and you really wanna get going on it. This person wants in on it. This person wants in on some kind of really awesome future you have ahead of you. You have a whole pile of potential, and this person feels like they, it's like they wanna get on some kind of gravy train you might have learned something about them, like um, something from their past that changed your mind about them and now they just make you uneasy. Let's see what your advice is. And you're definitely making a decision. It feels regretful though, like kind of sorry to inform you kind of thing. Um, your advice is the ace of coins in the reverse bag of money. That's what this is called on this end. Right beside this very, very good looking um, person that you don't know very well. Possibly young, younger than you. Definitely someone that you don't know very well. You might have already given them money or something. I'm 
and trying to figure out why you have bag of money right below pretty stranger. It'll come to me. Bottom of the deck. Oh boy. Queen of Swords in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck. So this is some kind of, this is a woman creating issues. Creating issues with this money. But she has her back to it. She could have taken it. Something is going to make you very happy in the future. Um, I feel like this could be just a message telling you not to give this person any money. Um, to me, down here, this is this is a widow, this is um, a divorcee, this is someone who is alone, someone who has a lot of experience, someone who, they can't be fooled. They've been through so many guys like this that they can they know what they're going to say before they even say it so i feel like you're cutting somebody out and you're going to be very happy by yourself um for some of you this could be um make this person happy with some i don't want to say that it just popped in my head like give them something or maybe they're just going to ask you. This is someone looking for a job though. Maybe they want too much money and you're saying no. I'm seeing whether this is dating or this is, this is definitely someone trying to get on your train. Something that you have moving along, um, but it is bumping right up to this someone creating issues. So it could be that this person wants to help you fix some kind of issues for some kind of fee that will make you very, very happy. Um, this could be an air sign. This could be a fire sign. But yeah, you have some kind of brilliant idea and you're moving on it. But you've changed your mind on who you want to partner with, either romantic or work-wise. I'm just trying to figure out what this Queen of Swords in the reverse is. I feel like this might be you going it alone and being perfectly happy. But it almost looks like she's got her back turned on happiness. Like, it's like this person doesn't want to be happy. So I don't think that's you. It almost looks like two people are kind of not great for you. One is actually trying to create issues, could be trying to stop you from getting some kind of payment as well. Um, and someone else, well, they're making you uneasy, but they're saying that they can help you or they want to work for you. They want, they want some kind of payment for sure. All right, Leo, that is your reading, but you're going to change your mind. You might have to pay somebody some money to be happy in the future. to make someone go away and stop creating problems. Maybe that means something for somebody. All right, I love you guys. And your shuffle song is called Blow Up and it's by Kid Francisco Lee. All right, I love you guys. Have a great week, bye.